Black Sabbath. If I'm being honest, utterly excited and kind of devastated. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Ozzy Osbourne, the end of Black Sabbath. Why? Oh, well, you know, it's been, it's run its course, really. I mean, it just felt like... <laughs> when we did the first Black Sabbath <laughs> album, I can remember thinking, ah, it'll be all right for a couple of years. It's kind of been put in a barrel and rolled down the biggest mountain in the world ever, and you come out here, and you're like 49 years later. This is where it all began, the Crown Pub right here in the centre of Birmingham. Back in 1968, Black Sabbath, or Earth as they were called at the time, played their first gig. The fee that night, they weren't paid in money, but in t-shirts. How things have changed, this farewell tour with founding members Tony Iommi and Geezer Butler has taken more than £60 million in ticket sales. I've been collecting over the last 25, 30 years. But for dedicated fans, tomorrow night is not going to be an easy one. I'm a mixture of emotions really. I'm sure I'll shed a few tears on the final night, um, which is to be expected. And even Ozzy, the self-professed Prince of Me Darkness, out. isn't ruling out the possibility of having a cry on stage. My emotions are flying all over the place. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Black Sabbath, heavy metal pioneers, but tomorrow might just bring out their soft side. Colin Patterson, BBC News, Birmingham. That's it. Now, BBC One.